Hey everybody, it's Coco. I'm super super excited today because I'm going to be doing an unbagging of a new product that I got from Black Milk. Um, Black Milk are an Australian company and they do heaps of really cool printed stuff like leggings. They've done some collaboration with Jeffrey Campbell and done some cool shoes. Um, they also do these really really rad um, like swimsuits and bodysuits. Um, I've definitely got my eye on a couple for summer. I might have to make another order soon. But um, what I'm going to show you today are a pair of leggings that I bought. They're um, the purple cosmic leggings. If you go on there, um, I was very fortunate. I um, went on and got mine while they were having the sale about a month back. And I have had these for a few weeks now. I've been wearing them quite a bit. And I can therefore sort of give you a bit more explanation about how they wear, the wearability of them. Um, so yeah, I'll just jump right into that. They come in these really cool bags, which I really like. I mean, they're just these plain black kind of plastic. And they come like this, like sealed. I've like ripped the seal off mine, obviously, to get into it. Um, I think they're really cool. I don't know. And like, they come just like this, you know, in the mail. They had like the address and stuff stuck on them. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see. I like... I wanted to show you the bag and it's all its minimalist glory without getting um, like address stickers and stuff on there. So I tried to like scrub it off and then I got out this old like Goldilocks to scrub it some more and then it was rusty and so now it's got like this rust stained bag which is gross. But, but hold it back here, you can't tell. Um, that's their logo. Where is it? Lack milk. There you go. Um, they have, I mean, the, the cut and kind of the way that they're designed is very simple. It's very flattering, I think. Um, leggings aren't always great on on some people. But these ones, that they're, they're the, this perfect material where they're thick enough to kind of like suck everything in and keep everything nice and well proportioned. And I'm sure it would be the same for the bodysuits and the swimsuits. Um... Yes. Slight deviation. What was I saying? Yeah, um, the material is great it's, and it's thick enough to sort of like keep you warm, but it's also really breathable. It's like a light cray. I haven't checked. I'll have a look and see what they are actually made of. Polyester elastane blend. Okay, so there we go, whatever that means. But um, yeah, no, they're a really great material. They're. Um, I mean, I live by the beach and it's springtime, so we've kind of, we've had a few cooler days and a few warmer days. I also work in a pretty heavily air-conditioned workplace. I've worn them to work a couple of times and they've withstood the power of the cold air conditioners. Um, so that they're great for both hot and cold. So without further ado, I will show you the leggings. Ah. Now these are like the most beautiful print ever. I mean, these are the purple, purple cosmic leggings, and like, they have some sort of lighter bits, and some darker bits, and this is an actual photo taken from a NASA thing in the, the there, from the outer space area. Uh, mine are a size medium, and they fit me pretty perfectly. I'm a New Zealand woman size 10, um, which is, I think, an American 6 or a 4. I'm not sure. Um, I'm pretty, like, I've got quite a curvaceous boote, so that I, you know. I'm, I'm not a big person, but I've got quite um, a ghetto booty for a white girl. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Sorry, I'm not sorry. I got a ghetto booty. And anyway, yeah, these, I mean, they're great. They, like you can see, they're, they, they, they've got a good amount of, like, give in them. Um, but they don't, like, like, I've had leggings, printed leggings before that. When they stretch, you kind of get, like, it's like a line of colour and then a line of white where the kind of, the underneath bit is. But you so don't get that with these. Like, they can just stretch and the colour stays really well. You know? It's pretty awesome. I like them. I'm definitely going to be um, purchasing more things from this website in the coming months. Um, I really want the Moonwalker um, 
swimsuit and my justification behind buying all the stuff that I want off this website is that because of the material they're perfect for the summertime I live at the beach I'm gonna be living in these things and especially like with the, the bodysuit swimsuits I'm looking forward to wearing them kind of as tops with like high-waisted jeans or high-waisted shorts over top and you know it's if they get sweaty you're in a swimsuit doesn't matter and I'll be like to and throwing the beach stomp in the water and it doesn't really matter um, I think they'd be great for traveling as well if you're you know looking into that sort of thing um, yeah really because they're really like you know compact you can just you know, boom pair of pants you know it fits in my hands like that <laughs> random but they would you know I, I would highly highly recommend this company um, I would highly, highly recommend this company. I I love them. I'm addicted already, and this is I've only bought one thing off their website. Um, they have some new stuff coming out in relation to Halloween, which I've seen a few other YouTubers blog about, and everyone's getting very excited about them. They're sort of, I, I think they're a relatively new company. Last couple of years, I haven't really done any research, but um, I would kind of compare them to like. Claude and me in terms of like the printed legging. I haven't bought anything off Claude and me. I always um, enjoyed looking at their, you know, their lookbooks and stuff. These are slightly more affordable, I think. I think full price, these are about 75 Australian dollars. Like I said, I got mine on sale, 20% off. Um, and I live in New Zealand, so I mean, shipping's quite, oh, it might not, it might be the same internationally. All of these were like on sale. That I think they're about sixty-five New Zealand dollars, including shipping. Um, I really hope they have another sale. Please, Black Milk, have another sale soon, so I can buy a whole lot of stuff. Um, but even if you don't have a sale, I'll probably buy it anyway. Cause I'm just, you know, addicted to shopping like that. I just I can't get enough of those leggings. Every time I go out, people compliment me on them. Um, like random people I don't even know. Like I went to a gig last night. And within five minutes, I had like three people that I didn't know come up to me and be like, oh my god, your pants are so amazing. And, and at every time someone sees, especially like kind of middle-aged or older people who are just fascinated by the youth of today, they come and they're like, oh, I love your jeans or oh, I love your tights. And I have to refrain myself from correcting them. No, they're leggings. Leggings. They're not pants because pants and leggings. Leggings are not pants. People. This is, this is my one beef with leggings that I think like 80% of the female population, at least of New Zealand, don't get. Don't wear these on their own. Like, I know that they, they come up to your waist, like they're kind of high-waisted just so that they fit you nicely and they kind of sculpt you nicely. It doesn't necessarily mean that that's where your top should also end. You know, like, it's just nasty and I don't, ca I don't care how skinny you are or how good you look in them. Leggings are not pants. They are leggings. Please wear a butt covering or at least semi covering long ish top. Like, I just think it looks bad. Like, the end. It looked like that's all there is to it. That's my only beef with them. Is that um, when people wear like crop tops with leggings, they're just all more good. Except for the occasional kind of like photo shoot where you're not like. I think just and like the movement in them, yeah, like photo shoots and stuff. Can, they can, they, I've seen some fun kind of like high waisted leggings with cool kind of crop tops and stuff. But anyway, for real life people like myself, uh, I would not choose to pair leggings with anything kind of like shorter than hip length, decent hip length, or longer if you've got kind of thighs like I do. I kind of often wear these, uh, I post a couple of pictures to Instagram, um, but I, I've got this, a couple of kind of like long baggy black t-shirts and I've got kind of like this singlet that kind of does this waterfall thing down the hip so it kind of slenderizes it all and makes it look very nice. I wore it last night when I wore it to the gig, I wore that singlet with kind of like, um, just like a black t-shirt over top which I tied at the waist so you've still got that kind of like hourglass thing going on. And with a bunch of chunky jewellery and um, with some docks or with heels. These look really great done up or, you know, casual. Like I said, I've worn these to work. Um, I mean, it depends on where you work, obviously. I work in an art gallery and a lot of what I do is kind of customer service and um, front of house 
tour guiding and that sort of thing and they're fine for that I haven't been told off by my boss yet so <laughs> fingers crossed um, the other leggings that I really really want are these two pairs there's one they're the cathedral leggings and they just look like a stained glass window and like I did art history and stuff so that's like I love it there's this really cool Napoleon pair as well which are also awesome because I love all things French I love French history so um, yeah we'll see we'll see um, but there's this other pair in there. I can't, I can't remember. I think they're, I want to say Nightwalkers, but that's just a pair of Jeffrey Campbell shoes. That's not the right thing. They're like these velvet leggings, and they have like a dress version as well. Um, and they're kind of almost got like this velvet, um, like print. So hard to, they're like black with like this velvet, like sticky outy bit. What is that called? Embossing. It's like they're like velvet embossed with like the fleur de lis and all these other cool French things. Um, French. Do you guys remember that episode of Friends where Joey tries to learn French? She's like, Jacques Le Bleu, la tout de la fruit. Yeah, that's how I speak French too. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this unbagging. I, seriously, I can't emphasize enough how much I love these leggings. They're so much fun. I'm, I love, love, where's my, I should say I love B, B, M. My camera's like, viewfinder is kind of back to front, mirrored, I can't, I'm not talking properly, but they should make a top like this, it says, I heart black milk, or BM, I'd wear it, I'd rip it, it'd be cool, so yes, thank you guys for watching, please, if you like this, like it down below, also, uh, leave me a comment, let me know if you've got a pair of these, leave me a video response, or um, a photo or something, if, if you've got a pair, and um, Black Milk have this really cool thing where they, you can see on their website how other people style them, um, which is nice, you know, you can see how other people, you know, and you can look at your specific leggings that you own or other pieces that you own, um, which can give, you know, because I get a lot of my inspiration for, like, my fashion and stuff, like, I, I do love reading the glossy magazines, but a lot of the inspiration that I get is from, like, um, just from the internet, lookbook.nu, I have a lookbook, um, and I've also gone there and there's heaps of really cool bloggers and stylists, kind of street fashion and that sort of thing. And um, yeah, that's where I get, get, get oh, bleh. that is where I get a lot of my inspiration. So you guys should check out a few of those websites. And as always, please subscribe if you haven't already. You can look me up on Facebook, facebook.com slash Coco Beach XOX. And I'll put all the relevant information down below. Um, hope you guys are having a great week and I will see you again soon. Bye!